that there are not less food in the water. There is more because of the oh. whale's presence in the food chain. It's like it completes the food chain and without the whales eating. And of course, what happens when you eat, you poop. But when whales poop, they're putting in all kinds of crucial nutrients back into the water that then feeds the whole cycle. Oh, wow. Well, I want to talk about something that isn't as much fun to talk about, and that is <laughs> about the dangers that are out there for the whales and dolphins. And sadly, you know, our world, we have a we have a lot of problems in our world, and, yep. and I feel bad to think that there are so many dangers, but can you outline what some of the issues are for whales and dolphins to survive? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and they're all pretty much human-caused, unfortunately. We mm -hmm. humans are just terrible at trashing our environment. Yeah. And, you know, it just doesn't make any logical sense if you look big picture, because if we don't take care of Mother Earth, it's not going to take care of us. That's right. Right? We have to look long-term. But the dangers they face, obviously, pollution, you know, oil products, plastics are terrible in the ocean. And then, of course, you know, beach cleanups are really important. Um, but also overfishing mm -hmm. and bycatch. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of dolphins are caught and sea turtles and sharks are caught as bycatch, meaning their accidental catch mm -hmm. when fishermen go out with their nets but they pull them up, they're dead, they throw them over and they're gone. 